Recap Parts 1 and 2 Dimas was a young man who lived in a small village in Indonesia. One day, he was walking in the jungle when he came across an old man. The old man was sitting on a rock and the magical Chris was standing beside him. Dimas had never seen a magical Chris before and he was very curious. He asked the old man what it was and the old man told him that it was a very powerful Chris. He said that the Chris could grant any wish. Dimas was excited by the thought of having a magical Chris, but he was also afraid. He didn't want to use it for evil, but he also didn't want to lose it. Suddenly the old man disappeared, and the magical Chris also disappeared. Dimas went home feeling very sad, thinking he lost everything, not realizing he had made a magical wish. Dimas arrived at his village. His mother Ibu asked, Why are you looking so sad? Dimas did not answer. He just carried on walking. His small brother G waved excited. He was coming home. Dimas ignored him. Arriving home, Aya his father was sitting on the steps. He asks Dimas how his day was. Dimas sat down and explained what had happened. Aya looked into his son's eyes and smiled. Don't worry. He said, you are young and have many opportunities ahead of you. You can use your life to help others and make the world a better place. The boy nodded, but he still looked worried. But what if I don't know what to do? And if the magical Chris has gone forever, he asked. Aya said that's okay, that's okay, he said. You don't have to know everything right now, just keep learning and growing, and the right opportunities will come to you. Dimas smiled back, he knew that his father was right. He was young and still believed in fairy tales and myths, and he had a lot to learn. But he was also determined to make a difference. In the world, he knew that he could do anything if he set his mind to it. Dimas said Aya, I wish I knew where the magical Chris was right now it could help us all if it was only true. Suddenly, the world around Dimas seemed to shatter. As a deafening sound and blinding light filled the air, Dimas stood up. Shocked, surprised, and out of breath. Stay tuned for part four. And please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.